What's up guys, my name is Idan and today I'm gonna show you how I turn my trash or my clutter in my life, in my house, to a thriving business in my garage. But before we start, I wanna thank our sponsor for today's video, Spiffy Buys. They have accessories for dogs, like this glove that brushes the hair off my dog. And also they have those toothbrushes for dogs. And they also have phone chargers and phone accessories. Check them out in the link in the description below. What you see here is basically my garage with over a thousand different products that I sell. It all started with the movie Minimalist. So I was watching this movie with my girlfriend like two years ago and we were watching it and learned that it's actually good to have less things in your life, just things that you need, really good quality things. But if you have too much clutter, things you never use, things that are like old, that they don't have any sentimental value, things that doesn't give you any, any benefit in your life. Um, just trash basically. All of us have that, all of us have things we don't need, in, especially in a garage, but even around the house, we have things we don't need. So that movie kind of shows you that it's, it's getting rid of those give you clarity in life. You can do better at work. It's easier to clean your house, there's so many benefits. Here we have three different bins, all right? And this is how I did it. I put labels on them and I know which one is what. So we have the first bin is for, for sale bin. So everything goes here, I can sell. It's things that I don't need, it's things that I have not been used for months and will not use, and they're not trash, they have value to them. They could be large as a lamp, or they can be small as, for example, that I have here, is a brake kit from, uh, for my Jeep, my car. I bought these brake pads and they don't fit my car, and I could not return them. So now they are for sale on online. I will fill this bin with things around the house that I don't need. Now this bin is a donation bin. So those things are things that work like I have way too many keyboards. So there's a keyboard, there's a flashlight. Uh, this one is way too weak for me. I think it's like, yeah, it's way too weak. I need something much stronger than this. So I don't have a use for it, but maybe someone else will. Um, all kind of different things like a passport holder. I don't like those. All those things will go to donations, so go to people who actually uh, might use this and it's not necessarily trash in my opinion, right? I'm also gonna get receipt for this to pay less taxes in the end of the year because this is stuff that I purchased eventually, you know, in the past and then I don't need those anymore. So those receipts, I can declare them as donation in the end of the year from Goodwill, for example. And we have the trash bin. And this trash bin is literally trash if you have papers or whatever else or these speakers, for example, I test them, they don't work. So I'll throw them away. There's no point to just keep them around. In my city, I can even ask them to call in twice a year for free to haul up to three large items like microwaves or even uh, a fridge or something and they do it for free. So you can check with your city. They might have a place for free to get rid of your trash or uh, you can use a regular trash can depending on what kind of trash you have. So those are the three uh, things I use to uh, to clear out my clutter around my house. But I will go to every single room. The garage is the hardest part. The garage always is full of things that we don't need. So that's probably the hardest things to do. So I'll do it first. <laughs> that's what I will do. I went to the garage and clear it out. But then I went to the kitchen. You know, cutlery that I don't need anymore. Pots and pans that I don't need anymore that are rusty or old or beyond. Uh, fixing or just too many. I just need one working pot. I don't need 20 different same size pots. This is in one example, you know. And then go to the living room and go to the bedroom and go everywhere you can and get rid of all your stuff you don't need. And nobody said you cannot have a collection of things that you do like, you know. Uh, if you have something you really, really love, don't get rid of it. But if it doesn't give you value, there's no sentimental value, there's no, it doesn't give you any value in your life just being there just because you want to hold on to it. Just really think about why you're holding on to it and it will help you realize if you need it or you don't. And have those three bins, try to fill them up. Just fill those up and that'll be better. Now, now that we, uh, you know, we got rid of the recycling and the trash, now we have the items for sale. So what do I do for the items for sale? Well, there are actually a few options to how to sell things and I have three on top of my head. So the first one for me is eBay. I'm absolutely huge on eBay and I listed 90% of the stuff on eBay just because I have a lot of electronics. The money I got from that actually built my next businesses like BitcoinMerch.com. It was very expensive to buy the domain name and it was very expensive business to operate 
but I got that money for my trash. I used that money to leverage other businesses. So my trash worked for me instead of just laying there collecting dust that I have to clean. And now the rest of the stuff got donated. Maybe someone else would use it. And I actually buy stuff on eBay sometimes that it's used and it does work. You have to be careful, of course. And anyways, here's an example of a product. So the, the brake kit, right? So I could list this on either eBay or OfferUp. Large things that have value but are too heavy to ship on eBay or Amazon, for example, will go on OfferUp. There is a lot of apps there. There's LetGo, there's a bunch of apps, but for me, OfferUp worked the best. So that's why I stick to it and I have over 60 reviews on it. I've been very busy on that platform, buying and selling. So I will have a separate pile separately for OfferUp and separate pile separately for eBay because of inventory issues. Because I have a thousand items on eBay, it's very hard for me to keep track. If someone buys something on OfferUp, then it doesn't deduct from eBay. That's why I separate them. So stuff for OfferUp or only OfferUp, stuff for eBay or only eBay. If you have a smaller amount of stuff, you can combine them and sell it faster. But I don't mind that as long as I'm more organized that way with inventory. I don't want to sell something on eBay and then someone comes from OfferUp to pick it up or the opposite, someone already picked it up from OfferUp, I forgot to deduct it from eBay. It's, that's something that's, logistics are very important to me. So this is why I separate the two. By selling stuff on eBay, then I'm like, oh, I can sell stuff on Amazon and that kind of like how stuff uh, got around and now I have my own FBA account that I absolutely like with a lot of different products but that's kind of like the evolution of how I sold things online by first selling all my crap online. <laughs> so this is exactly how I do it. I have the for sale bin with me. It will be right next to my computer and I will start taking stuff out and get rid of it. I'll show you guys how I do it on eBay and offer up. On eBay, I pretty much did it already many times, but I'll show you guys again. I'll go look at the part number, you know, see what kind of product I have. And I'll go ahead and look for it on eBay. And the way I do that is I want to see products that's been sold for that price. Because, so I'm going to go to advanced and sold listings. Because I want to see how much money was sold for this. And you see nobody bought this one before. But let's say if you have an iPhone 4, for example. You can see the history of people who are selling iPhone 4 and how much you expect to get from selling an iPhone 4. And then I'll pick up a listing that's pretty recent and high price. Let's see an example for iPhone 4. This one was sold for uh, $16 plus $15 shipping. This is about $30. This one was sold today for $30 plus $10 shipping. So this is a $40 product. I'll probably, if I have an iPhone 4 that's white and the same specs, I will click on it and I'll click on sell one like this. I want to use the same listing with that uh, 84 product ratings and I'll click on sell now, take my own photo, put it for 40 bucks for shipping or if you want to put it for 30 bucks with less, with some shipping of $10 and then boom, that's how you do it. And you keep doing that until your pile is done and then you put that pile away. And then now you know that stuff have to get rid of. And when you see it and you're like, hey, I have not sold this for a little while, lower the prices until it's all gone. If it's too cheap for selling on eBay, throw it into the donation pile and donate it. You know, that's my process. It goes from selling. If it doesn't sell, it goes to the donation. And then if you cannot donate it because it's broken, it goes to the trash and so forth. Now when it comes to eBay, I have a few tricks to help me save money when I do shipping because I do ship a lot of things and a lot of them are actually used. If you've seen my uh, return pallets, I buy those return pallets from electronics from Amazon or from uh, Walmart and I buy them and I test them and then I sell them. I don't really care about the packaging as much because it's a used item on eBay. So I do a lot of recycling. I, I use a lot of boxes and envelopes from Amazon because I shop on Amazon a lot uh, for my business. So I use the leftover packaging, look how many I have here, instead of paying for packaging. I try my best to not pay for packaging. So I keep all the bubble wraps and all that and I put them right here and I use them as I need to. And I also use something called shipping envelopes. I actually learned that it saves you a lot of money. It's super cheap. It's cheaper than bubble envelope and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It really depends on the type of package you have. And we also have the flatter envelopes. Those are $7.33, whatever you can fit in there. If you wanna watch a whole video just about shipping and how to ship cheap and how to save money on shipping, I have a whole video in the link below that will teach you 
how to choose what kind of shipping and how to pack it and how to save money on shipping. Every dollar counts, I'm telling you. Especially if you sell like hundreds of items a month. If you can save a dollar, two dollars each item, three dollars each item on shipping material and the type of shipping, like what kind of company you ship it with, you can save hundreds of dollars a month. Another advice is when you, I buy packaging, I buy them in bulk. I buy like hundreds at a time in a box that's much cheaper if you buy one one by one. I think this is about less than 10 cents each envelope for the small one and those are free by the way if you order them from USPS. I see people go to the USPS store and UPS store and they pay $7 or $5 for a single envelope to ship one thing. Just not worth it. Just keep your like don't throw away your packaging you know and then you'll be able to use it. Here is an example of an envelope from Amazon and I just take the label out and I just you know the top doesn't look the best but I just tape it up and that's fine I can ship it if someone buys from my Bitcoin merch website of course I put more effort on the shipping and I do invest on the shipping because it's a customer and a business but when it comes to you stuff it just it doesn't really matter the packaging how it looks what's better is the value you give the customer we have another example here here is a lamp I actually like this lamp it's very pretty I just you know this is for my new house so I'm not actually gonna sell it, but I'm gonna show you the process that I'm doing if I have an old lamp, for example, a product that's too big for eBay and how I will sell it on OfferUp. My OfferUp account has 64 reviews. It's super good uh, to have a lot of reviews. People taking you more seriously and that's over time selling all my crap. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and just take a photo of it. It's that simple. You, you download the OfferUp app and then you click on take photo and you literally just take a photo of the lamp Boom. It really doesn't have to be that, you know, perfect or pretty, but it should be good enough so people understand what it is. And I'm gonna go in next, you know, this is a good photo. And then I'm gonna write a title. Lamp uh, with glass, you know, explaining the color, blue, and if it has a bulb, if it's working. And then I'm gonna go done and next. And then I'm gonna say the condition, if it's new or used and then why what's the condition and then the category will be you know furniture or household you know whatever you think it's correct and then next and then you're gonna set up the price you can say if you're firm on the price or not uh, let's say i post it for 20 bucks and i'm firm or i can say 20 bucks and i can negotiate and next next and then i can choose if i want to deliver it which i will not deliver something like this because it's way too big and i'm gonna go hit next and it's all done now i can post it it's literally that easy and that's how you post stuff on OfferUp for things that are too big for eBay. That's it guys, this is the end of the video. If you love my dog and if you like this channel, please leave a like and subscribe to it. If you have any questions on how I sell stuff on eBay, on Amazon or OfferUp, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.